Imagine you're planning to buy some property. You have a title search done, which reveals that the title is clear. After the sale, you learn that a prior purchaser obtained an interest in the property through a so-called Mother Hubbard clause in a recorded conveyance, which only generally described the seller's property being conveyed without providing a specific legal description. Who's the lawful owner of the property, you or the prior purchaser? The Kansas Supreme Court addressed this issue in Lutey v. Evans. Grace Owens and others possessed interests in oil and gas leases in Coffee County, Kansas. In 1971, on behalf of herself and her co-owners, Owens executed and recorded an assignment of interest in the leases to International Tours, Incorporated. The assignment described seven specific oil and gas leases, but also contained a Mother Hubbard clause, conveying all interests in all other leases owned by any of the assigners located in the county, quote, whether or not the same are specifically enumerated above, unquote. In addition to the seven leases specifically described in the assignment, Owens herself then owned an interest in an oil and gas lease known as the Kufal lease, also located in Coffey County. John Evans possessed an overriding royalty interest in the Kufal lease. In 1975, Owens executed an assignment of her interest in the Kufal lease to J.R. Burris. Before that assignment, Burris conducted a title search in the county's deed office. And after the assignment, Burris obtained an abstract of title concerning the real property related to the Kufal lease. Neither Burris's title search nor the abstract of the deed showed International Tours' interest in the Kufal lease. Thereafter, both International Tours and Burris claimed competing interests in the Kufal lease. The successors in title of the original lease, Dale and Marsha Luti, filed a lawsuit in state court to quiet title amid the competing claims. The trial court ruled in favor of Burris, subject to Evans's royalty interest. The court concluded that Burris was an innocent purchaser for value who hadn't been on notice of International Tours' prior interest in the Kufal lease, because the Mother Hubbard clause in Owens's assignment provided an inadequate description of the property. International Tours appealed to the Kansas Court of Appeals, which reversed the trial court's judgment. Burris appealed to the Kansas Supreme Court.